欢迎回来。我们常常勉励陷入绝境的朋友们，不要放弃希望。上帝给你关上了一道门，一定会给你打开一扇窗啊！据说这句经典的语录啊，是出自圣经。嗯，那我们呢，不知道说上帝是不是真的会这样做。不过呢，可以肯定的就是啊，人类也一直在努力的尝试突破困境。那、啊、说得好，例如美国一群善用激光技术来治疗脑瘤的神经外科医生。就发现了暂时解除头脑自我保护屏障的技术，能够开发出治疗致命脑瘤的新方案。他是个抗癌战士，名叫凯蒂·史密斯。他从2009年就开始对抗癌症，只是很不幸，医生最近发现他的卵巢长了新的肿瘤，另外头脑还有复发性恶性胶质瘤，他的生命可以说是已经危在旦夕。And there were, I believe, three tumors at that time. And I was not at all happy about those critters. 在生命最黑暗的时刻，凯蒂碰巧遇上了华盛顿大学的神经外科和生化治疗研究团队。他们发现了可能开启治疗致命脑癌的新技术，为凯蒂灰暗的生命打开了一扇窗。Kind of, kind of makes you smile when they say, "Oh, you're a good candidate for something new," and so. Got worked into that study, or got worked into that, and it did work out beautifully. 原来人的大脑有一道天然的保卫墙，医学术语叫血脑屏障。它能防止病毒和外来物质透过血液入侵我们的大脑，当然也会阻碍治疗脑癌的药物进入人脑了。这就为脑癌的治疗造成了一定的困难。华盛顿大学的神经外科和生化治疗研究团队首次发现，他们的激光治疗术能够暂时解开血脑屏障长达一个月的时间，这等于为脑癌治疗打开了一扇希望之窗。We were basically able to show that this blood-brain barrier is broken down for around four weeks after you do this laser therapy. So not only are you really killing the tumor, you're actually opening up a window. Of opportunity to deliver uh, uh, various drugs and chemicals and therapies that could otherwise not get there. Their research is now in the second stage of clinical trials. Besides using traditional laser therapy to kill the tumor, there is also a treatment with gradual air-to-air bombardment to kill the tumor. The other focus of the clinical trials is to remove the blood brain barrier after injecting the tumor with a strong anti-blood brain inhibitor to prevent the entry of the tumor. 看看能不能够取得更好的疗效。So、I think what's really interesting is that the blood-brain barrier is a, a two-way street. That、uh, by breaking it down, you can get things into the brain, but also、uh, uh, by breaking it down, now things can go from your brain out into your circulation, to your peripheral uh, 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 system, which includes your immune system. 华盛顿大学的神经外科和生化治疗研究团队对于暂时解除血脑屏障的研究还处于试验的阶段。他们希望今年年尾能够发表正式的研究报告。恶性脑瘤原本是个绝症，但愿这项研究真的能够为病患者带来治疗的新希望。